And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a meme tier Monday stream. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to be doing some of, we're going to be playing a bunch of the new cards that are um, not ones that are necessarily the most competitive, but they're a lot of fun. What we're going to do to start with today with our first one, Marauder Strength, we're playing this new uh, card, Strength in Numbers, for the first time. Eight mana, slow speed, summon two Legion Marauders. That's right, we're playing a Legion Marauder deck with this new card, Strength in Numbers. So let's check out Legion Marauder. So Legion Marauder, um, really cool card, three mana, three, two, and an attack, grants allied Legion Marauders everywhere, plus one, plus one. So whenever you attack with one, it, that includes itself and any other Legion Marauder you have anywhere. So it attacks immediately as a 4-3. It's honestly a pretty solid card. Like, I think this this card by itself should probably see a little bit more play than it does. Because it's, like, if you just, it's a 3-mana 4-3 when it attacks. You know, we all kind of play, like, the 3-mana uh, 4-3 Overwhelm card um, in Noxus. Legion Marauder is a little weaker to start with, but it has, you know, a lot of potential. If you can get more Legion Marauders, or if you can attack multiple times and stuff like that. But it does have Overwhelm. But now we have like another way to get Legion Marauders with the Strength in Numbers. So this is going to be pretty nice to be able to combine those two together. For our other region, we're going to have Piltover and Zaun, mostly because we have a Terrative Improvement that we can, you know, pick a follower, create a copy of it. That's right. Make some more Legion Marauders. That's a way to do that. Also, um, another thing to note is uh, more new cards with Noxus. We have this Black Rose Spy. I should have said this one first, but um, rep two mana, three, two with Reputation. Um, reputation's a new keyword. We got to strike for five plus damage four times. If we do that, we got that turned on. Um, when I'm summoned, transform me into an exact copy of the strongest ally that struck this round. And that should be Legion Marauder. If we're doing our job and we're getting multiple Legion Marauders in play, they're going to be growing. Whenever they strike, they're going to be dealing more than five damage. So it's going to turn on reputation. And then boom, for two mana, we play Black Rose by and transforms it into another Legion Marauder. So two mana Legion Marauder once we're doing our thing. We also have LeBlanc as one of our champions, a new champion here. 5-2, seeing you deal 15 damage, then it levels up. And then once LeBlanc levels up, and then it sees us do uh, 15 damage again, we get to create a mirror image in hand, summon an exact ephemeral copy of an ally with five plus power. That can be another Legion Marauder for two mana. Love it. So that's that's what we got. We got a bunch of Legion Marauders, a uh, bunch of ways to create more Legion Marauders. We have some card advantage with Whispered Words and uh, Trifarian Assessor. We have Might that can give Legion Marauders Overwhelm, so that's always cool. And we even have Katarina in here to get us extra attacks, because with Legion Marauders, whenever you attack, you get plus one, plus one. So that means you probably want to attack some more. So boom, that, there we go. Katarina can do that for us. So that's Marauder Strength. That's going to be our first meme tier deck of the day. With meme tier decks, we just play them in normal because we try to do our try to do our thing. Um, hope it works out. If we do end up going four and zero with any of these decks, then we'll take it on over to ranked uh, for game number five. If our decks are looking real strong like that. Okay, so our first matchup is going to be uh, Lucian Callista. We have no Legion Marauders. Pulling Strike kills Lucian. Mystic Shot also kills Lucian. Neither of these kill Callista. So let's just keep the Mystic Shot. Mulligan the, the Culling Strike also. If, like, Culling Strike would kill Callista, then, you know, maybe we think about keeping it. But. Alright, we got Legion Marauder. Why PNZ? Because PNZ gives you um, a Terrative Improvement. We have that card in PNC. All right, pass. And we'll play Legion Marauder. Let's have some fun. So it'll be a 4-3 when it attacks. I'm what nightmares fear. Let's kill the Senna, because we don't want that trading with our Legion Marauder. Oh, that's rough. I th I even thought about like attacking first and then doing that, but you know like they would be able to get like the free block in. Oh, 
Oh no, now my iterative improvement. Hey Swift, I'm doing. I am doing good. Thank you so much. Yeah, I have had a good start of the day. Love it. Phone's playing Vault of Helia. Love it. Always good to see cool stuff in normal. And that's pretty awesome. Don't get in my way. Go find your Lucian. I fight for the fallen. So this would be a good time to play Strength in Numbers, but we probably need to probably need to get rid of this Vault of Helia. Let's play this. Wow, they are not scared. Huh. So that means they gotta have, you know, like, Sharp Sight type card. I'll just throw this thing out there. So it looks like I'm probably going... Oh, Repost? Uh, Repost is much worse for me than Sharp Sight for obvious reasons. We're just going to make a new Radiant Guardian. Help us stay alive for a little bit. We're going to have some strength in numbers, that's for sure. And now that Lucian's a 6-2. Gross. We're gonna need to clear room for our Marauders anyway. Okay, okay. I could do something. You will be scoured from this land. I'll just play it right now before I start getting these other Legion Marauders in play. I shall lead the way. What? Don't believe everything you hear. No hesitation. Speak. I wish I would have just attacked earlier with that other Legion Marauder so that these were 4 3s to start with. Oh, come on. <laughs> More Tiana's? Tiana's so strong. This, this doesn't look good for me. I think an 8-8 eight, eight tough is better than two three twos. We each died, then found hope. No. Yeah, we have to have reputation before Black Rose does anything, so we you know we have not struck for, for reputation at all yet. Got your back. 
Don't worry about me. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this isn't going to work out, is it? I, yeah, I, I wish I would have calling strike to this thing first, but. It's kind of weird they even just made that attack. They just let me gain five life for that damage. Like, why? I don't know. That's kind of weird they made that attack. Okay, well, that's still lethal. Exact lethal. Alright, well, at least I attacked with the Legion Marauders before we died. Opponent's deck was cool. Those Tianas were brutal. Tianas were brutal. Okay, playing against all Shirima. Looks like they're going to be you know, playing a Sun Disc deck with all three champions. So let's see, we have, I like all the, I kind of like all these, but I'm going to get rid of the Whispered Words just to start with, but I kind of like the rest. I guess maybe I should get rid of Kato also. Yeah, we'll just get rid of Kato also. But I like the bloody business in this matchup. They do have some interaction, but not a ton. And so they're not necessarily going to be able to stop my bloody business from happening. And I think that bloody business could be really good against some of these champions, especially Rennington. But even Azir as well, like Rennington and Azir. Both of those could be pretty important. So if I play House Fighter. Okay, well, I'm playing House Fighter. So say if I. You know, I could keep Mystic Shot available, but obviously. Um, with that Roiling Sands. Okay, good hit. Good six damage in. Wanna do this before exhaust happens? Okay. They did not exhaust LeBlanc, so that's good for me. Ugh, I wanna attack him. I wanna attack with Legion Marauder. I feel like I should play one of these other things first. Could just attack out as is. Alright, I'm going Legion Marauder. Because basically, like, if I play Kato Revive, then I don't get to Mystic Shot as well, so I don't have, like, any interaction. In case of, you know, like, tricks or some, something that I need to. Still LeBlanc leveling up because LeBlanc just counts any kind of damage, not just combat damage, so it does count the Mystic Shot. So we deal the same amount of damage to them, but you know, it's basically like me just turning Mystic Shot into a Legion Marauder for two mana. And that's worth it. That's new. One girl wrecking crew! Okay, got the win. They killed my LeBlanc on the way out the door. They said, if I can't stay alive, LeBlanc, neither can you. 
Okay, another Azir deck with Kindred. Got some new champions. We got Sharima Shadow Isles. Cool. Mulligan, Mulligan, Mulligan. We'll keep the pet. And draw Legion Marauder? No. Aftershocks. Look like a spider deck. And that's why we play Precious Pet. Those little Warden's Praise don't get in our way. Okay, predictions up. The Emperor commands the land obey. That was a great one drop for Warden Spray. Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, it's a one mana card that kills my house fighter and also gets them another card. Yeah, that was quality right there. Quick, quick pass. I, of course, don't want to see, like, I like. are they trying to do Blighted Caretaker and they want me to play something and then they're going to Blighted Caretaker? Like, that's what it kind of feels like. That's such a quick pass. Um, but I'll still draw two. Cool. I'm not going to play Legion Marauder out here for Blighted Caretaker. Okay. No Caretaker. Let's have some fun. Ooh. I guess I play you. What are champs? Gnosis, Kindred. Ooh, they have they have Kindred. Uh, can't really stop Kindred. Do I play you pre-combat? History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. We'll see. I mean, I'm gonna try it, but we'll see if I regret it. Actually, maybe I should attack with my. Precious pet also because of Mystic Shot. Try to, you know, they block with Kindred and then I Mystic Shot it. Yeah, I should probably be attacking with the pet. Alright, this, this worked though. I'm glad we didn't. So they do not get to slay their own thing. They do not get to draw two cards. They do not get to pass go or collect $200. And we keep our precious pet alive. No. Never mind, we do not keep our precious pet alive. Alright, so the champion spell is four mana shock. <laughs> you know, four mana mystic shot. Yuck. So much mana for a mystic shot. Go to ten. What does he want from me? Its heart beats fast now. Man, Kindred's awesome. I mean, I guess all they did there is spend, what, five mana to kill my, you know, five mana to kill a Legion Marauder and level up Kindred, and also I get a 1-1, one, one, and I reset this thing to being a 2-2. Two, two. So that's, all in all, not necessarily the worst. Alright, good. Bad. The best lies are beautiful. Only two cards in hand. We got a lot more cards. Surprise to see me. Just leave me alone. 
Stop these glimpse beyonds. I do not want them drawing two cards. It, it feels like Black Rose Pie is incredibly difficult to turn on. Reputation is not easy at all. Four times to strike with something five plus power. That's too bad. Mystical levitation requires concentration. <laughs> Dude, Warden's Prey has been killing us. Warden's play Warden's Prey is sick. <laughs> yeah, that just give that overwhelm. His warden spray is sick. Cause you know, like they you know made the the two one, they, they got in this overwhelm card, and now it makes the mentor the stones. So I go to one. Not a lot. This thing right here with that slay. This turns into a 9-9. Nine, nine. It marks this 2-2. Two, two. That 2-2 two, is dead anyway. What secrets do you bring me? But at least this doesn't have Overwhelm anymore. Is the good news. Do I have any way to... <clears throat> Why are you saying, huh? Obviously I'm playing this to block. What do you what do you think I'm doing with this thing? Pretty obvious while I'm playing it. We don't have any way to Everyone's Oh gross. To kill an eleven eleven, do we? Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. I guess it would make more sense to just play this than play a new LeBlanc. Shoot the sapling. Cause yeah, then that's because then this continues to level up. Just makes makes more sense to do this. Then this one keeps leveling up. It's at eight out of fifteen eight out of fifteen now. I don't really know why they didn't use the gems at all. Like, they have all this mana. Like, why don't they just use gems and, like, kill, kill my Kato? Like, they, they really messed this up by not playing any of these gems. Okay, so open attack. I mean, I guess we just... We just kind of win this, right? They can't make... They can't make a block and survive. But then I also have a Vi, so like, should I just play Vi? Like, what's their card gonna be? It's probably not as good as Vi. Here comes the punchline. I'll do it myself. Trouble coming at ya. I give you muscles. Cool. It was not as good as Vi. All right, two and one. So, I think they probably would have won that if they would have used their gems. Playing against Riven with Freljord. All right, we haven't had like a super cool Legion Marauder game yet. Hopefully, that'll be this one. Harvey's laying here. She really likes her. She really likes her pillow there. See, she likes that pillow, and then she's got another like little black pillow there. <laughs> she's so comfy. He's so comfy. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to mulligan the Black Rose Spy. And we will keep the rest. We'll have Marauder. Copy Marauder. And then extra attacks with Katarina. Yes, I think Lissandra Swain is a good deck. Absolutely. Yeah, lots of good stuff in that deck. I love all the, um, all the sweepers, all the... 
area of effect damage that it has. It's got a really powerful late game. Got a lot of good stuff going on for it. So predictions just started. I think you, I think you just click like the predict predict thing at the top of the chat. I think you just click on that and and vote either win or loss. Looks like a lot of people put uh, points on loss. So now, so we probably want to even that out. Okay, good trade, good trade. I get to keep my two mana for a iterative improvement. So worst case scenario, if they kill my Legion Marauders, we get to copy it still. Good. They did not kill my Legion Marauders. Good, good. I don't need to let them know about my uh, extra Legion Marauders in hand for the time being. Like, we got another iterative improvement, so another Marauders. Very nice. I need just a moment. Do I Aftershock that thing? I could go Katarina... <clears throat> yeah, it's Katarina. Katarina Blades Edge. I'll cut them apart. Face me. And plus, Katarina has is my like bait in case they have like troll chant to keep the Glory Seeker alive. They're killing Katarina and not my Legion Marauder, so that's good. I guess by playing this, um, I'm not using my two other extra spell mana, so we could Aftershock if we need to. <clears throat> could cast Might if we need to. These hands, no metal arms, Plenty for all of us. Because if they block with the 3-1, Might does a lot of damage. Approach, savage. Does 8 damage. I kind of feel like doing 8 damage. That's a lot of damage. I got too little life. That was a mighty attack that was so mighty it may even cause an aftershock. I'll be here all day. Yeah, they're looking at my Legion Marauders like, what do we do now? I sense their power. Uh oh. Uh oh. There is surrender and there is love. Got a lot of animations going on over here. Casting a lot of cards. That one's a little slow. There we go. Three and one. There is our cool Legion Marauder game. I knew we were going to have a cool Legion Marauder game in here. Got it. Yep. Lucian Azir. One of the most popular decks right now. Okay. Mulligan Kato. Mulligan Whispered Words. We want to be a little faster than those. Strength in numbers. So we can play this on turn five would be the fastest. We can play strength in numbers. Okay, do not want to trade two ones. They want to have having extra stuff in play for like whenever they have their champions. <clears throat> Definitely good. I prefer them not to have their champions. That would be nice. Man, 
Lots of LeBlancs. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Always forward. I don't know if I really want to. Uh, I don't think I really want to cast this Blade's Edge. I think I want to just. I think I want to save my three spell mana. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. That card where it's like you got a Blade's Edge, that thing. Okay, cool. I want to Blade's Edge it. I want to save my three spell mana so I can cast one of these million strength and numbers. This is the. The kind of game that we lost, though, right? Like, our game that we lost was against a Shreema deck, and we just had millions of streak. No, 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 it wasn't against Shreema. It was against... Uh... Anyway, the game we lost was a game where we just drew a whole bunch of strength and numbers, but it was not against Shreema. Slow down, will you? I get too many attacks. I think I have to do this. That's still... Oh, it's so much damage. I keep this thing from leveling up. This champion spell should just be three mana and then reputation it costs two or something. Why does it have to be four? Like it's Why does it have to start with four? It's ridiculous. Match this game over with multiple attacks and everything. Exactly as I planned it. All right, but there we go. There was our Marauder Strength deck. Um, so the games that we did lose were the games that we had a whole bunch of strength and numbers. This card's a little expensive there at eight mana. Um, Got to make sure you have your other stuff. But I was, I'd have to say that I was really disappointed in this card costing four. Um, this, I know it can cost one with reputation, but I think this should be three and one, not four and one. Um, I don't know. That's that's fine. That's just what I kind of feel like. You know, four mana for a Mystic Shot is just it's brutal you know like two damage like maybe kills two drops right like it's not even killing like most three drops or anything yeah that's that's just too much but anyway um let's see the bloody business is good whisper words good we had definitely had some good stuff in here um but those i guess we, we both of our decks that we lost to were lucian decks how about that so like <laughs> you know i guess deal two damage isn't good enough if we're to lose into lucian decks but good hand from the opponent, that last one. Uh, but it was cool. I liked Might. We did get to have a really cool Legion Marauder deck. Might was was awesome for us. Um, LeBlanc overall was pretty good, though. Being a five-power attacker was pretty sweet. We got to do uh, some good stuff with it. And, um, and yeah, I think, the deck, I think the deck worked pretty well, just in general. Uh, we only had one real good Legion Marauder game. But it was a nice, efficient, you know, Noxus mid-range aggro deck a terratim improvement was awesome for sure uh that card's just great reputation just seems so hard to to pull off so black rose spy was just two mana three two for us you know we never got to you know never even got to get close to reputation i don't think um you know even with leblanc and legion marauders growing and stuff like that just never even got close all right but anyway that's marauder strength First meme tier deck today, trying out strength in numbers. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and Legion Marauders in general. And also, if you got other deck ideas you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday, feel free to throw those in the comments as well. I always love seeing y'all's ideas. All right, but that's it here for Marauder Strength. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.